guys welcome back to my channel today's video is another stationery haul and this video is brought to you by stationery pal so stationery pal was kind enough to send me this huge box of stationery and i figured that since i reached 60k recently this video will also have a giveaway i've been doing a lot of giveaways lately but that's because i really want to give back to you guys for all the support that you guys have continuously given me i'm just absolutely grateful for all the love that you guys show so yeah i will be doing a giveaway for this video as well i'll be talking about it later on in the video but other than that let's just get started because it seems like we have a lot of things to open up and see so yeah if you guys hear any background noise or any talking or anything please excuse that i have family members downstairs so yeah Firstly, I'm just going to start opening this big box. It's so big. I think it's like one kilo. So there's a lot of stuff in here and I'm really excited. We have a lot to get through. So let's just get started on this. I also hope you guys don't mind the angle of this video the box is so big so first i don't have a lot of space and also don't have the greatest tripod so yeah just wanted to address that but we'll just open it up now i'm so excited i'm just gonna open it this way so you guys can see there's bubble wrap and a lot of confetti there's a lot of things in here, so let's just take this out. Okay, so Stationery Pal gave me the opportunity to choose any item from the store to grab and put in this haul. So these are some of the items that I got. So firstly, I got this set of thin washi tapes. I'm definitely running out of my washi tapes, so I got some more. They just look like this. They're not as thin as the ones that I have, but they will probably work fine. As you can see, this is my thin washi tape and I'm running out and I thought to get some more. So this one's just regular thin washi tape, but they are a pastel rainbow set. There are 12 in here, so lovely. There's also a brown one, which I can't wait to use because I don't have a thin brown washi tape. So there is this one. Also keep in mind, I will list down every single thing that I have here in the description if you guys want to get yours as well. Next, I got a lot of these grid washi tapes. I have two gingham picnic blanket style washi tapes and I absolutely love them, like I use them often. So I figured I'll pick up a few as well. So I got a green one. I got a light pink one. I got a blue one. A kind of like a corally pink one and also just this it's not really a gingham but it's still a grid pattern it's a green and yellow grid I don't have anything like this so I just picked it up as well so yeah these are the grid washi tapes that I picked up next I picked up this light brown washi tape it kind of just reminds me of craft paper so I feel like it would look good with a scrapbooky style journal spread and I don't really have a washi tape that's in this shade in particular so yeah I also got this grid paper memo pad I use grid paper a lot especially when I'm making like calendar habit tracker layouts for my planner and everything like that I think this will come in handy specifically for those things because I'm always trying to grab something that has grid paper to create the monthly layout or to even create like the habit tracker calendar layout so yeah I feel like this will be helpful there's a lot I'm not sure how many are in here but they're just regular paper and the paper quality is pretty good it's pretty soft they also included some pins I got pins last time and these are so cute this is a Polaroid and then there's a hat I love the color scheme of these also, there's also this eraser rubber that you can take off like that. Seems like a decorative eraser. Next are these writing essentials that I got. So firstly, I got this Sakura Jelly Roll white 
gel pen. I have never tried this and I've seen people like Amanda Rachel Lee and everything use this white pen. I stand by the Unibol Signo white gel pen so I wonder if this will be as good. I will test it out and show it on the screen and probably write a little caption about how I feel about it. But yeah, I really can't wait to try this out because I don't know, I do love the Unibol Signo white gel pen however, the size of that pen is super big. It comes in one millimeter so this one I think is a bit smaller like a 0 0.8. So yeah, I can't wait to try this one out. And also I got a Zebra Sarasa clip. I think this is like a vintage pen. So the color that I chose is like a dark blue but a bit more muted and nice neutral tint to it that I like. So yeah, I think this one will be good as well because I personally like the way the Zebra Sarasa clip pastel pens write so this will probably write good as well. Yeah, I can't wait to use this pen. I also got a Tombow dual tip brush pen, just one though. I picked up this gray color because I don't have any gray brush pens in my collection. I have a lot of blacks and the vibrant colors but I don't have a gray brush pen. I think the closest gray item that I have is probably a gray highlighter but sometimes I want to do lettering with a brush pen so yeah I picked this one up. I got a set of Tombow dual tip brush pens in my last stationery haul from Stationery Pal and I do reach for my Tombow brush pens pretty often so yeah I do like the quality of Tombow dual tip brush pens and I feel like this one will be good. This one is in the shade and 52. I think it's like not too dark but not too light either. So second last with the writing essentials, I got this set of Zebra Mod Liners, the brush pen edition. I have the warm toned brush pen set and I got that in Japan when it first released. And then this is the other set that I got from Stationery Pal because I love the colors of this set. Then again, I picked up this one because it has a gray brush pen. When I first got the Zebra Mod Liners, the highlighter version, Version. This was the same color scheme that I got first. I just love zebra mod liners. They're hyped for a reason in my opinion. You just can't get any other highlighter in those shades or they're the ones that pretty much started it. So yeah, can't wait to use this. I already know it's going to be great. So yeah. Next is this Pentel Hybrid Dual Metallic Gel Pen. So this was actually the first thing I picked up or pointed out that I wanted to get in this haul because I don't have a lot of metallic pens. I do have one and it writes smoothly and it's super cool to look at. I wanted to get this to experiment and be more creative with my colors and stuff and my spreads and I just feel like it'll just look cool because it's unique. This one is metallic and I'm pretty sure in different lightings or different angles it looks like different shades. So as you can see from the lids, the green has a pinky tint, the pink has a blue tint, and the violet has a metallic blue tint. I just can't wait to try this out because from the back it looks like they shine different tints when you look at the gel pen on paper. This is pretty extra and out of my comfort zone but I mean you gotta try something new every once in a while, right? And next are the stickers. I think they added more stickers than I chose because there's definitely a lot more here than what I picked out. Okay, so firstly, I got more of the Suatelier stickers. In my last stationery haul or stationery pal video, I picked up a lot of the stickers from this brand, Suatelier. I don't think I'm pronouncing that right, but they just have great designs. Their drawings and illustrations are so cute and I love them. So I just picked up a few. So this one is the coffee one. I do not drink coffee often, but I have slowly started to like it. I used to hate coffee, but now it's all right. I just can't drink it often because it gives me anxiety. But <laughs> yeah, I just got this because come on, the illustrations are so cute. Like look at this coffee machine. It's amazing. Next is this diet related one. So it has a bunch of fruits on it. This girl exercising and all of that. Something I wish I did more often, but what can you do? We're in quarantine, we're all lazy. So yeah, maybe one day. I will get to be as productive as this girl. Next is this 
cherry blossom deco sticker so this one is just a bunch of cherry blossom petals and flowers it even says here in the corner nail deco so they're so small that you could actually put them on your nails which i probably won't do i just feel like i want to save this for a spread so yeah there's this one there's also this one called healing i think this probably means self-care so there's someone surfing someone just traveling spending time on the beach alone spending time with their friends and family or something like that so totally up my alley we love self-care then lastly for this suatelier sticker sheets i got one with pets or mostly dogs i think these are all dogs i have never really been a dog person but lately dogs just they're just so cute i just have a phobia of dogs because childhood but yeah i just find dogs very cute especially corgis and there's a corgi here and i really wanted to get it so that's why i picked out this sticker sheet so yeah, those are the Suatelier sticker sheets. And also, I think Stationery Pal were kind enough to include more sticker sheets. So these are the stickers that Stationery Pal has made themselves. So I will just quickly go over them. I'm so thankful that they even wanted to include some stickers. There is this one. So this one is just a musical instrument one with all these instruments, guitars headphones, pianos, violins. I'm not a musical person. I don't know all of these instruments, but music is great. So yeah, there's this one. There's also a stationary one. I love this one. It, it's so cool and cute. It has all these stationary items that they also sell on their store. So there's a Tombow Mono eraser, Zebra Mod liners, Sakura Micron Fine liners, Muji gel pen, Sharpies, Tombows, journals, everything stationary related. Just everything that we all love, right? Then there is this holiday themed ones. So there's stickers with plants, hats, makeup, just everything you would take on a holiday i'm pretty sure love that there's also this beverage one so it has bubble tea milkshakes juices smoothies all the refreshing things to have then there is this outer space one so this one just has a lot of space related things and there's a food one which i love i love food there's a hamburger coffee pizza hot dogs beers fries all the good stuff then there is another coffee one just like the so I tell you one, however, this one has like a little coffee truck and little plants that you could put at a cafe, little coffee beans, just cafe related things. I love the color scheme of this as well. Very warm and cozy in my opinion. Then there's a baking one. I love the illustrations of this. These are so cute. There's even a platter of desserts. Cute. A little oven. Love that. And lastly is a fitness related one. These are all little illustrations of things that you can use at the gym or even at home if you have these things. Just things you can use to exercise. But yeah, those are all the stickers that Stationery Pal were kind enough to include in this box. I will use them all well. I just love stickers and these will be helpful because they just fit different themes and different situations and everything. And because I use a planner, I document a lot of what I do in my everyday and I feel like these will be useful. So yeah, thank you Stationery Pal for the stickers. And now we will get into the little packs. Actually, wait. So they were kind enough to send a little calendar as well. I'm sure. They really spoiled me with this one. What? Ooh, they're little artworks. Ooh, these are so cool. Love the hand lettering. I wonder who did this. So they included a little calendar. December, January, February, March, April. So it's like a astronaut theme because there's an astronaut in every single one. But I love the illustrations. July, August, September. October. Ooh, there's a Halloween one. November. December. That's super cute. But yeah, I love the hand lettering. I wonder if that's a font or someone actually wrote that. It's super cute. But yeah, I need to figure out a way to display this because I do need a calendar in my life. So next is the sets that I got. So other than the things that I picked out from Stationery Pal, they also allowed me to pick out a set for their bullet journal starter kits 
I'm pretty sure that's what it's called and they offer a variety of colors the color I chose for myself was blue and I'm going to also give away a set to you guys and the set that I'm gonna give away to you guys is the purple set first I'm gonna go over the blue set you would think that I would get the pink set because I just love the color pink however I just figured I have so many pink colored things that I might as well try something new they come in this really cute little bag and everything's inside i will go over the things that will be in the giveaway as well but i will make sure to put it all back here and make sure everything's all good and safe so yeah first we'll just open this one up i love that stationery pal has these little starter kits and everything because so people who are starting new with bullet journaling or just journaling in general they are able to just get kits like that instead of being lost on what type of things to start off with i feel like it's a pretty good price as well so i highly recommend you guys check it out i'm gonna just take everything out Ooh, love not having a lot of space Ooh, there's a lot of things in here so firstly there is this sticky note bookmark insert thing so they come in different shades of blue so you could use this to bookmark different parts of your notes for school or even in your planner or bullet journal to remind you of something important that you need to remember. I feel like these are super useful. I love the different shades of blue that they included and the paper is really smooth. Next is this washi tape cutter thing when i saw this i was like in awe because i was like how does that even work because for me i just use scissors or even just rip it off i think it works like this you just put it on your washi tape and then you just you just do this Ooh, that's pretty cool i think you do need to like hold it down at the top i'm intrigued so you hold it down at the top and then you cut Ooh, that's so cool it's super extra but i mean i think it's gonna be useful so yeah you could just clip it on or take it off and put another washi tape so yeah there is this washi cutter in my blue set next is this plus narino glue tape i have the pink version i don't think there's any difference with the different colors they're just glue tape but they have different packaging so yeah i'm running out of glue tape so happy to get this one it runs so smoothly and you get a lot out of it for me i don't roll it all the way through the edges of the page i just do the corners and it works just fine in my opinion so i get the most out of these glue tapes next is this wide out correction tape so just a typical correction tape it seems like there's a lot in it so you can really use this and it's also in the color blue so it matches the set pretty helpful if you tend to make mistakes and everything honestly people should embrace their mistakes mistakes are normal they're inevitable so don't be afraid to use things like this to correct your spread there's always ways to redecorate it and make it look cuter so yeah there is also an eraser that is blue it has like mount fuji in the front but it has like a rubbery texture pretty sure oh it has this design on the top it's just so satisfying to the eye when you see things that are all similar colors like there's just a color scheme going on and that's what i feel with this set it's just so cool there's also this slim pencil case oh what is this for smiley band pencil case hold on i'm gonna try something out so there's this band in the back of it i'm assuming you could just attach it to any book oh my gosh do you see that that looks so helpful so you don't just like lose it unless you lose both the journal and the pencil case but yeah i feel like these slim pencil cases are super helpful especially when you don't want to carry a lot of things around you just want to carry your essentials you just put all of these things in here i think these are helpful for those who yeah just want to carry essentials on the go taking notes and everything or if you're just going to a lecture or a tutorial and you just need to take notes quickly use this to carry a pen and then attach it to your journal notebook and you're good to go for just that lecture so you don't have to carry so many things next is this stabilo 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 boss highlighter original these are iconic highlighters that 
everyone uses in school and this one's a pastel blue color i don't know the packaging of this is just so nostalgic to me i just grown up knowing these highlighters so even though i don't use these often they just have a special place in my heart you can also use this for lettering you can literally use any writing supply for lettering so yeah there's also this light blue one they also included a little gel pen so there this is a jelly roll metallic gel pen so this is similar to the white gel pen that i got but this one is a metallic blue shade it has some glitters in it and i'm pretty sure this is a similar size to the white one so probably a 0.8 size very pretty the glitter is so pretty here i just can't wait to see what it looks like on paper next is this pentel fude brush sign pen i do have some of these and these are my go-to brush pens they are in between flexible to not flexible in, in terms of how well they write i am personally comfortable with hand lettering so these are easy for me to use and i just love the shades that they come in and also the packaging i just love it so yeah this one's a light blue color next is this pilot juice pen 0.5 it's the light blue shade i love the baby blue color that it gives off next are these brush pens so there is this one the 493 three tombow dual tip brush pen can't wait to use this it's a very it looks like an ocean type of blue i do have like light vibrant blue and navy blue and all of that but i don't think i have a blue in this color for a brush pen the second brush pen is this zig fude biori metallic brush pen so this one's a metallic brush pen as well i haven't tried these brush pens like this brand's brush pens not sure if they're flexible but i can't wait to try this this one out as well i hope that it's easy to use but you always gotta adjust and learn so keen for that second last is this set of washi tapes so it has this this blue and gold theme to it so there's this big one with fans and flowers with with gold white and blue theme to it there's this one that reminds me of the ocean almost and then there's this one that has cranes and birds on it with also a lot of gold foils there's this one that is a bit more like a cloud theme so it's white gold and blue and this last one the thin one it just has some curvy lines to it and it's more just like a light blue and white theme there's a lot of variety in these washi tapes so this will come in handy just love the variety of blues in here and lastly you also get in the starter kits a journal of course you get a journal because it's a bullet journal starter kit or even just a plain journal starter kit it doesn't necessarily have to be a bullet journal you get a journal like this so this journal reminds me of the Loish term 1917 was that the number i don't remember but it reminds me of the Loish term bullet journal that's very popular for bullet journaling because it has this strap it has a plain cover on it it also is dotted and it has numbers in the corner i absolutely miss bullet journaling i used to bullet journal a lot back in like 2018 and everything i just don't have the time to really bullet journal and plan everything out but maybe i'll give it a try next time but it also has like a contents page like index you can write on the pages are super smooth i'm really surprised about that i feel like this would be really good and it also has a pocket in the back oh my gosh this brings me back i love these types of journals maybe i'll try it out again it also comes with two little bookmarks that you can use maybe i'll try bullet journaling for like one week and see how it goes i just miss it a lot but yeah i can't wait to try this out i don't have a blue notebook so it's a, another notebook in my collection and yeah i can't wait to use this so yeah that was everything from the blue set for the bullet journal starter kit and now i will go over the set that i will be giving away to you guys so the purple set is a little bit different as i saw from the pictures but all the items are still great so firstly you get this little paper clip 
in your set i love the designs of these types of paper clips i have a few of them actually and i use them pretty often for taking pictures if i want to hold down a journal spread these are very useful and they're pretty aesthetic too like they come in different colors and this one is a purple one you get these washi tapes so first you get this plain purple washi tape simple is good next you also get a gingham patterned washi tape just like the ones i showed earlier this one is a purple themed as you can see i won't open them because i want you guys to open them this one just has a grid purple pattern then there is this cloudy magical cloudy one so this one has pinks and purples and blues like a sky themed washi tape super pretty and next is this gold foil one so this one is just a purple washi tape with gold foil and it has a lot of shapes like triangles diamonds stars moons just has a lot of patterns with gold foil next is this set of stickers so this set has a bunch of sticker sheets with various different shapes so i'm not going to open that up but you can see here in the back it's a color palette sticker sheet so it has rectangles and squares rectangles of different shades of purple and this one has more like a blue shade but i think it's like supposed to be a gradient with these sets but there are circle stickers as well i love using circle stickers and shape stickers they just are simple but they complete an entire spread next is this pretty planet galaxy memo pad this is super pretty i have an orange one like this that i got way back but this one is so pretty it has like stars and different shades of purple in it so you could use this for notes or you could even use this to decorate your spread next is the writing supplies you get a lot of writing supplies so first you get this pastel violet pilot juice pen i do not have this shade so this one looks super cute to me but this one will be going to you guys anything pastel is super cute so yeah the pilot juice pens in 0.5 write very smoothly so i have high hopes for this one for you guys there is also this stabilo boss original highlighter in pastel purple this one will work well as well everyone knows this everyone loves it so yeah there is this muji purple 0.5 gel pen the muji gel pens are very hyped and very loved by the stationery community and they do come in a lot of different colors such as purple next is this tombow play color dot pen i think this is a dot pen like it is a circle i'm not entirely sure it's dual tip so i think one side is a fine liner it says here extra fine and then a dot side so you can make little dots on your page with this pen and i think this might be a pastel color hopefully or if not it's a purple fits the theme you know purple is a pretty color so i hope you guys like the color purple as well there is this one a zebra sarasa clip gel pen yeah i also have never tried this one but zebra sarasa clip pens write very smoothly in my opinion so this will probably be good as well there is this jelly roll metallic gel pen similar to the one i showed earlier this one is just in the purple color it has a lot of shimmers on the cap so the gel pen will probably have some shimmers and glitter as well and for the brush pens you get a pentel brush sign pen as well this one is a dark purple color next is also this 676 tombow dual tip brush pen this one has like a magenta purple lee color so it has like a pinky tint to it this one will probably be really pretty and lastly you also get a zig fudibiori brush pen as well like i said i'm not gonna use or open any of these because i want you guys to open them for yourselves then you get this purple pencil case this one has a lot of pockets so you could probably fit a lot of things in this pencil case it just says awaken the beauty of life and last but not least you get your own journal so this one is also the same as mine this one is a dotted index number journal it has a little strap to close it it comes with two bookmarks it also has a pocket on the back and also an index page as stated here very good quality like the blue one that i got i'm pretty sure you guys will love this one so that is pretty much everything that you guys will receive if you win this giveaway for this set i will just carefully put everything back and make sure everything is like safe in this bag 
and then I will also bubble wrap it when I send it out for the giveaway just so nothing is like broken or at risk of breaking so that is pretty much everything that I received from Stationery Pal. I'm absolutely grateful for all the things that I received and also just all the extra things that they included as well. I literally do not deserve all these extra things. I am absolutely so happy and grateful. Stationery Pal is the real one. And yeah, thank you again to Stationery Pal for sending me all of these things. And that is pretty much it for this stationery haul video. And now on to the giveaway. So this giveaway will be open internationally. As long as your country allows mailing and shipping and all of that, then this giveaway will be open to you. Also, this giveaway will only have one winner. I'll make sure to hold more giveaways in the future. I deeply apologize for not being able to make a giveaway with multiple winners, but hopefully someday in the future I'll be able to yeah now on to the rules so when I'm checking the winners for this giveaway I'll make sure that they have completed all the rules in this giveaway the first rule is to subscribe to my channel this channel keynotes the second rule is to like and share this video so whether that's in your Instagram stories or Twitter or Facebook or Instagram or just any social media make sure to share this video the third rule is to follow my Instagram at keynotes and the last rule is to comment down below your Instagram handle and also comment down what you're looking forward to the most now that the holiday seasons are coming up so whether it's Christmas Thanksgiving or anything like that what are you most excited about is it spending time with your friends family eating any of that just let me know yeah I will also leave all of the rules down below in the description so make sure to follow every rule that I include this giveaway will also be open until the 8th of December that just gives a lot more time for people to join and it gives this giveaway at least two weeks and stuff so this giveaway will end on the 8th of December and yeah the giveaway winner will win the bullet journal starter kit the purple one and I wish luck to every single one of you guys who decides to join other than that if you are also interested in purchasing some items from stationery pal I will leave all of the links to all the products that I got down below in the description and there is also a discount code that I can give to you guys if you use the code keynotes you guys can get 15% off any order that you decide to get on stationery Pal. Also, Stationery Pal holds a lot of giveaways on their Instagram, so make sure you check out all of Stationery Pal's links down below. And also, lastly, Stationery Pal is holding Black Friday sales from November 10th to November 30th. So make sure to hop on to Stationery Pal's website and purchase while there are still sales and you can still use my discount code on top of that. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I know this video was a pretty lengthy one and I hope you guys don't mind. There was just so many stationery and I'm like absolutely like in awe and super grateful for this lovely opportunity without you guys. I wouldn't have been able to get this so... Thank you to you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a good day. Please take care of yourselves and I'll just see you later. Bye-bye.